The clone tool is finally here in Luminar Neo, update 1.4.0. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of the clone tool and what else is new with this update. I'm Darlene with Digital Photo Mentor, and if learning about photo editing and Luminar Neo is what you're looking for, then you're in the right place. So without further ado, let's dig in to update 1.4.0. As usual with this latest update, we've gotten a number of bug fixes and updates to improve the performance and speed of Luminar Neo. I can honestly say that since I installed this update, I haven't had a single issue, so things are looking good. They've also included support for a few additional cameras. If you want a list of all of the fixes and things that they've done with this update, there's a link in the description area below. The first thing that you may notice is that they finally got rid of the pesky background blurred out image. Previously, when we opened an image, the background of the interface in Luminar Neo was actually the image blurry. So many people disliked that, including myself. So they finally done away with that and now we just have a nice plain gray background. Excellent. Another small change you'll notice is just when you hover over the buttons at the top of the interface from catalog, preset, to edit, they highlight. Not a big deal, but it's there. The most significant addition with this update is the clone tool. It's finally here. A lot of people have been waiting for this one for a long time. Let's take a look at it. You'll find the clone tool at the very bottom of the tools in the professional panel. The one thing that I notice about it is it's just clone, not heal. So if you're expecting something that uses content aware fill, this is not it. Let me do an example. I'm going to change the softness of the brush to zero. So we have a hard edge, get a little bit larger brush. And you can see that it's telling us to start. We need to click to set the source. So I'm just going to click anywhere. So now it's going to clone from that area where I just put the marker to this area. So you can see what happened is it literally copied and pasted exactly that same circle to the other area. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I was really looking for a healing tool that may be something they add at a later date. They haven't said, but what can we do with it in its current form? In this image, I wanted to get rid of the road signs. I did try using the erase tool and when I got close to the fence area, it didn't do a great job. So let's see how the clone tool does. I'm going to zoom in to about 50%. I'm going to set the source, which is the area that it's cloning from, right next to the sign. Then I'm just going to paste like so. It's not perfect and the posts aren't lined up, but it did a pretty good job. And the one neat thing about this tool is that you can see a preview of it before you hit stamp. If you want to set a new source area, all you have to do is hit your Alt Option key and you can start from a different spot. So I did that here. Notice as I hover the mouse over, let me lower the softness a bit, you can see inside the cursor area what's going to paint in that spot. So once again, we still don't have undo in Luminar Neo. So because I've made that mistake and I'm not happy with it, there's also no erase. So if I want to undo it, I have to reset this tool, which means that I'll lose my edit over here as well. So that's a slight drawback. So you have to be careful. What I would suggest is do one edit like this, then close the tool once you're happy with it and open it again to do your second cloning. It's a little bit cumbersome, but it's a good workaround. To remove the second sign, I found that using a combination of the erase tool, which I've done here and applied, and then using the clone tool, like so, I was able to get a better, more blended result, like that. So give the new clone tool a try. Another minor update is in the develop tool under the optics panel near the bottom. Now, when you hover your mouse over the lens distortion slider, you'll see this grid show up. Ideally, I think it's to help you determine whether or not your lines are straight, 
but I would find it more helpful if it actually provided that under the transform tool as well. So it's a start, but I'd like to see more. The final thing that I want to make note of is that they have added the ability to deal with chromatic aberration with the HDR merge extension. This is one of the first ones that I ran through the HDR merge. It's from five bracketed images. And you can see that there's quite a bit of chromatic aberration here. But in the develop module, because it's not a raw file anymore, there's no chromatic aberration checkbox. And it didn't allow you to process or deal with that before dropping it in the HDR merge. So I'm going to run these five images through HDR merge again, and let's see how it works now. So I'm just going to drag them and drop them into the extension. And now you'll see the addition of this little gear icon right here on the HDR merge panel. And when you click it, you will see chromatic aberration as well as auto alignment and deghosting. So I'm going to turn on chromatic aberration and merge them. Here's the result from the images that I just merged with the same edits applied as the previous one. You can see that the chromatic aberration has been handled fairly well now. So this one gets a thumbs up from me because this is something that comes up a lot when you're doing HDR and is a necessary improvement. Overall, Luminar Neo Update 1.4.0 is a good one. We've gotten the clone tool, we've got chromatic aberration on HDR merge, and we got rid of that pesky, faded out, blurry background image. But more importantly, I find that the program is really stable and is working really well. So kudos to the Skylum team. I look forward to what's coming next, which is some of the new extensions, of which they've announced the fifth one is going to be focus stacking. I kind of predicted that one. My next prediction is going to be panorama merge. Let's see if I get that one right. If you want to see more about Luminar Neo, click the video on the screen now. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment below and join me for our weekly live stream as well. I hope to see you there.